Hey, what's up, universe? It's 11.21 a.m. on Wednesday, uh, yeah, right? Wednesday, August 2nd, 2023. I'm confused. My days are all mixed up. I'm uh, at the high V. I just wanted to show you this here real quick so this is going to play into the story here, the inspiration for this. So do you see this here, that caribou coffee? I used to work there a couple years ago, actually. Uh, almost to the day, like when I started, it was like late July 2021, I believe. Anyway, I'm exhausted. Um, I've been at hy V here since like, I think I came in around 6.30, uh, cause it started to rain and I wanted to get in started pouring rain because you know my laptop and my backpack uh, so I'm set up here on you know this here's my here's my little setup I got napkins there because of condensation falling from that anyway it's not the point the point is is that I uh, was hanging out and um, you know, just been looking at jobs for like the last, I don't know, it seems like four or five hours. I took some skill assessment stuff for one role, and that was kind of, it was intense. I didn't pass. <laughs> um, that's not the point either. Anyway, I was sitting here doing that stuff, and this uh, guy I used to work with at Caribou came up here and was taking his break, and he just happened to sit like, at one of the booths that was adjacent to me across the way and he looked over and I said what's up Alan <laughs> and he goes kind of he goes Zach <laughs> and I was like yep and we got to talking you know he asked the normal question like uh, we got up and shook hands and every normal normal social question right how are things you know and I'm like well like tell you the truth you know like I'm unemployed I'm looking for a place to live I was like you know aside from that I was like mm, those are the biggest things I was like aside from that I'm doing you know I'm doing pretty good he's like you're not you're not homeless you're not homeless are you and I'm sorry about the noise and I was like well I was like uh yeah actually <laughs> and um you know I knew Alan was uh you know, he's a he's a religious guy, and um, I knew that from working with him. And you know, he's like, "It's a cool. Do you need a place to stay?" And I was like, "Well, I was, I was like, a shower would be awesome." To tell you the truth, he's like, "Well, he's like, we've got family coming in like this weekend." He's like, "But if you need a place to stay, he's like, let me give you my phone number, and if you, he's like, if you want to, you know, he's like, you can just." It's like, I don't live far from here, just a couple streets, you know, he's like, give me a call and, and, uh, you can stay tonight, tomorrow, you know, if you just want to have a shower, that's fine. Um, and then he went on to tell me about, uh, his church is a part of, um, an organization here in town that I hadn't heard of because I looked up homeless shelters yesterday while I was at the library and, um. Anyway, there's a network of churches that provide uh, shelter for homeless people, and not just shelter, but like a program, you know, and like uh, finding employment and like, you know, financial planning and, you know, all this kind of a thing. And, um, and I was like, all right, well, that's, that's pretty interesting. Um, so after we spoke, after we spoke, I took a look at this uh, organization here in town and uh looks pretty cool you know as far as uh these things go i don't i don't have direct familiarity or experience with like homeless shelters and uh you know i was just thinking back to all of the stuff that i've been saying over the last couple of weeks you know i received that letter in that in the mail right um uh, that one from from frank and uh you know, I was during the show Lost, which is, you know, a faith <laughs> show and just all of this stuff. And I'm like, 
And I remember in one of my videos, I'm like, do I just, like, go to a church and, like, find out what I'm supposed to, like, do? Like, you know, again, I don't identify as a, a, any one specific religious belief, you know. Um, yet the language that's been coming up, you know, is obviously faith-based. Uh, and so I'm like, do I have... You know, I checked in with myself. I'm like, I do have... I don't know if it's, it's, I wouldn't call it resistance, it's more of like, uh, it's, it's probably ego resistance, it's more like I don't, I would love to be able to say that I can do this, and I can, I've done it before, and at the same time when I check in with myself, I'm like, it's the kind of resistance where I'm like, alright, this is something I probably should explore, because there very well may be something here for me, you know, everything that's been happening over the last few weeks seems to be leading me to here and meeting Alan again like that's not that's not chance you know what I mean like <laughs> I knew that Alan I might I knew I might see him today perhaps because he's one of the people that opens the caribou uh, there's not too many people that open this this particular caribou uh, and I saw him when I came in the store, but he didn't see me, and I did not make it a point to go see him, because I just kind of wanted to get up here and, you know, do my thing. So, he didn't know I was here, and I didn't make it a point to see him. So, running into him like that, like, okay, it was meant to happen. <laughs> um, so I called this place, um, and there's an intake process, you know, they like a questionnaire and all this kind of stuff. They don't just accept walk-ins and all of that. Now, I didn't, t I didn't talk to anybody. I just know that from the message that I heard. Uh, and I didn't leave a voice message. Um, so I'm tempted to just stay at Alan's place maybe today or this evening, whenever. Uh, and then call that place again tomorrow. Um, right now, I just really feel like taking a nap. Like, I'm... I'm wiped out. I started making a spreadsheet of all of the applications that I've turned in and the dates that I turned them in. I have received a couple of redirection um, uh, emails, uh, primarily the one from that Compassion International, that one that's also faith-based. Uh, pretty sure they want you to go to church, and I'm like, no, nah, I don't, I don't, I don't go to church. <laughs> um, and then, and then the one today where I didn't pass the skill exam, obviously, you know, they sent an email and were like, hey, you know, thanks for your interest, you know, but, and, uh, but everything else seems to be in play, I guess, as far as I can tell. Um, I've, I've messaged a couple of the people that I have contact information for, for the roles. Um, some of the roles don't have, uh, direct people that I can message, um, so when that happens, I look up, like, HR people at the company, and I might message them, but the ones I don't have contact information for are ones that I just recently applied for, so, like, it doesn't necessarily make sense for me to, like... I mean, I guess it could. Anyway, I started making a spreadsheet. That's the point of that. So it's pretty noisy here. Um, that's pretty much my update. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, yeah tired and hungry, tired and hungry. Oh, that does remind me, another thing that I'm thankful for, so here in Kansas City, there's a milk company called Chateau Milk, and, uh, you know, it's, it's dairy milk, uh, but they, they're locally owned, and they don't do any of the hormones or any of that stuff right there, it's, it's delicious dairy milk, uh, and I had a couple of, like, they come in these glass containers, right, so you pay a deposit, you know, when you buy the milk, you, you pay a deposit for the glass containers, and then you pay for the price of the milk. So it's not necessarily the cheapest milk, uh, but it's really good. Um, so anyway, I had a couple of these containers, uh, and when you can turn them back in, right? And you get your deposit back. So yesterday, I had a couple of containers, and I turned them in, and I got like five bucks and some change. Maybe I turned it in today. Whatever. It doesn't matter. My days are mixed up, like I said. So I got five bucks in my pocket and now I get to decide what I'm going to do with that. <laughs> um, thankfully yesterday I had some stuff left over from what Angela brought to the kids 
and I have a couple of smaller bags of chips uh, that I can snack on and pasta that I can't cook and then I have three cans of beans but then I realized ah snap I uh I left a can opener at the house <laughs> it was a can opener that I bought because the can opener that actually came with the house was no bueno it was no good uh, so I went ahead and got a, a new one uh, but I left it at the house so I don't have a way to open up these cans <laughs> oh well um so yeah that's that's what's up for now I'll keep you guys posted. All right, I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.